Hey there everyone, this is Samuel Johnson and welcome back to the Lyoko Retrospective. Today we're going to be discussing episode 17 of Code Lyoko, Amnesia. And in this case, Xana manages to create a nanovirus that, well, as the, as the title of the episode says, gives people amnesia. It's a... Uh, Essentially, it's essentially nano machines that that pretty much that pretty much spread like a virus. How it, pretty much what happens is that whenever someone's exposed to them, they enter they enter the person's body and attack the memory centers of their brain and cause them to just forget stuff. How it usually hit, and the first one that gets hit is Ulrich as the as Zan developed them in the science lab, and as a result, when and, and when they actually and so when. The Leo and so when all the students saw it, Ulrich made a comment about it looking like Odd's hair gel, and so and so the teacher had him examine it, and and Odd just to be kind of a dick pushed his head into the in the dish and got and caused him to get a good nose full of the stuff. However, up when he does that, he ends up passing out later when everyone when everyone's out, and when he wakes up, his he's just his memory is gone. And Sissy being a, and Sissy deciding to show us the conceited side of her personality once again tries to take advantage of the situation and gets and says that she's her that she's his girlfriend but it doesn't really work out well as despite the fact that his memory is mostly gone he does get some brief glimpses and just bit by bit he realizes that Sissy's full of crap so that doesn't work for that doesn't work for very long but. Pretty much, Ulrich is not the only one to get infected. As we, a bit, as as more and more people, as more and more students throughout the school get infected or get or like get infected, as they collapse and they have to go to the infirmary, and any that wake up are pretty much dazed and confused. They don't know anything. They're pretty much just like zombies. Even when the Glioko kids start figuring out that this is start putting a piece together and figure out where this originated, and even go, they even go to the science lab. They find the teacher passed out at her desk with no memory of who she is. As such, the group decides that they need to head. As such, as such, the group the group realizes that this is Xana's doing. As they are able to get a sample, and what I what I kind of find them amusing is that all of the nanobots have the Xana logo on them because because evil because every because every big bad has to have a symbol. And so they realize that, and so they realize they have to go to Lyoko and shut down whatever tower Xana activated, and so that they can restore everybody's memories. Ah, as so yeah, they do manage to go there. But something that I kind of find interesting throughout the episode, and so, but something I kind of like about this episode is that, like I mentioned, Auric, while not having his full memory, does get brief flashes and glimpses of who of 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 who he is. And so this episode, and as such, throughout the episode, he's just kind of wandering around trying to get the full picture. While he does know know enough about Sissy to ultimately kind of kick her to the curb. He does start learn. He eventually does find his dorm room, and he manages to find and through context clues. He's able to figure out who he's able to figure out that the, that the Lyoko kid, the group, the, uh, the Lyoko group are his friends, and where they're headed. As he gets, as he starts getting flashes of them traveling to the factory. As such, by the time Ulrich and Yumi get into Lyoko and figure out that the activated tower is in the Arctic sector, Jer Ulrich makes his way in there, and not even not knowing what's going on, he thinks that he has to do something, and so Jeremy decides to take advantage of the situation and tells him to go to the scanner room, which uh, I thought for some reason was below the lab, but I might have been wrong. But, I don't know, maybe my memory's playing tricks on me. But yeah, anyways, yeah, Jer so they managed to, so they managed to get, or so Jeremy managed to send Ulrich to Lyoko. As in the, in the meantime, though Yumi and uh, Yumi ends up meeting up with Alita, and they manage to make their way to the tower. Though they encounter some crabs, but uh, and Odd and Ulrich just end up sparring a bit as uh, as Odd needs to try and jog Ulrich's memory about fight. Needs to jog Ulrich's memory a bit. One and what I kind of find amusing is that while Ulrich, as Ulrich starts kind of seeing this all as a video game with all the cool abilities and so forth, and as and he actually starts getting more into it, but. And, and, and as a result, he ends up taking, and as such, when Odd directs him towards the real bad guys, in this case, the crabs, Ulrich just jumps in wholeheartedly, actually, actually, actually finding good, actually finding unique and strategies to take down the crabs. But, bomb line, but, yeah, just short version, they do manage to restore everything, Aelita does deactivate the tower, and things get rewound back to them when they were back in the science lab, but, I think the biggest strength of the episode is kind of stuff with Ulrich. Uh, before, just kind of, just I kind of I, I like this because it's one of the it's a nature versus nurture type of thing for me. In this case, or when when Ulrich loses his memory, it, let's think it's kind of like this: when you kind of strip away everything about us that makes us who we are, 
all that's left is sort of the bare bones of our personality, who we are, just kind of, just without any of the factors that we grew up with in life to make us who we are. So, in that sense, when stripped of everything, we kind of get to see who the person is. We kind of get to see the person for the, who the person is, and what and in this case, we kind of see that with Ulrich. To kind of kind of put in to kind of put in perspective, something like this occurred in one of the comics I own, an issue of What If called Iron Man: Demon in Armor. It was a, it was the, the story the, the story featured in the comic was that. Tony Stark and Victor Von Doom in an alternate Marvel universe are roommates instead of Victor Von Doom being roommates with Reed Richards. And the end result of that was that Victor Von Doom tricked Tony into helping him build a machine that swapped their minds and all, and wound up erasing Tony's memory so he didn't know about the switch. In this new reality, we then saw both we then saw both Tony and Victor develop in these new roles that they live in these new roles. And while Victor Von Doom tore down pretty much just dragged the Stark name through the mud, we saw Tony just gradually getting better, despite the fact that he was stripped of everything and from the perspective, and was pretty much just lost, he was stripped of everything and lost everything and lost all the advantages in life. He still rose up and became better, actually worked, actually made something of his life bit by bit, just making himself into bit by bit, actually raising up, rising above the rising above everything until eventually he managed to actually form his own company just on his own merits and actually being her and being a noble man. It's a it's a it's a nice little aspect. In this case, it's a similar here case. In the, it's a similar case here. Yes, while Ulrich does kind of get a guiding hand by having flashes of memory and flashes of memory. At the very least, Ulrich knows that the, that the it must be important, and so he tries and so he starts following it, learning, even getting more and more into it. And I kind of like Ulrich's reaction when we actually see him on Lyoko, as when he arrives there, he's. He again. He's still dumbfounded. All of Lyoko is all this is new to him, and he kind of sees Lyoko the same way that I think any new viewers would, as like a giant video game. He gets he, he gets more into it. He's starting to have fun, and when he learns that there are actual enemies to fight, he get he's actually strategizing and fighting at, fighting them off. He's just clearly having a ball, and it's kind of nice seeing that, and just kind of seeing him not getting the seriousness of it, but still being effective and. But still being effective, he's not a boon, and he's not a boon despite the, despite his handicap. It's I like that. It's nice, and I think it helps add to. The, and it's just inter, inter, entertaining to watch. And again, it is still nice seeing him kind of slowly catch on that even with despite his memory. So uh, again, which again is another thing that I like. Like for example, when Sissy tries taking advantage of the situation to say that Ulrich's her boyfriend, which just further reminds me that despite the her that for every one of Sissy's human moments, she has another moment. She has another conceited moment. But just seeing Ulrich just bit by just even when Ulrich even when she keeps saying that oh we're an, an item, Ulrich just doesn't feel anything for her. Made even worse by when he actually does get flashes of his interactions with her, and none of them are, are none and all of them are her or him insulting her, her being kind of a bitch. And eventually he just tells, and eventually he just says, listen, I want to be alone. You're not my type. Goodbye. I liked that. I, I did actually like, I actually really liked that. I'm trying to th and I guess, an, I guess a failing in the episode, I think would be the whole amnesia, idea, the whole idea of amnesia as a virus. And it's not the idea itself that's bad. Far from it. The idea of amnesia being a catchable disease that people can be spread is actually terrifying when you stop and think about it. The idea that, like, just seeing it spread, just see, like, I guess the best example would be, imagine if Alzheimer's was, was not just some, a disease of the brain, but was an actual disease, but was an actual disease that spread out. Ha seeing someone, and just kind of seeing it spread around, and the idea that all you have to do is just touch someone, or eat something that they were eating, or drinking something that they were drinking, and suddenly your mind goes, and suddenly you start losing your mind. It's a terrifying thought, and when we do see brief glimpses of it, it is kind of scary. See, it is kind of scary when you see people start falling unconscious and go and and just kind of and lying in the infirmary. The problem is the only one we kind of see with the whole it suffers from the whole amnesia aspect is Ulrich. And st the only times we see other people suffering from it are the are the are the kids in the infirmary, the science teacher, and and Millie and her friend, who are just wandering around the days. Otherwise, we don't see anything. We don't really see any aspect of their personalities that we don't really see, and how badly this is. And really, the biggest aspect, and 
really the kids only gripe and really when the kids talk about it they say that they and yeah it would be a bad it would be a bad thing everyone would just be dazed and without any memory they wouldn't they wouldn't know what's going on and Xana could easily take advantage of that but it's just that when you have a concept where about uh, uh when you have when your concept is amnesia as a disease I feel like that you could still do a lot with that, but but unfortunately, it feels like the episode doesn't take full advantage of it. It doesn't go in a bad direction with it because what we got with Ulrich is fine. I like it, but when I, but the way things go, but it's just that it feels like it just needed an extra push, is what I'm saying. Because it's a really creative and actually pretty terrifying concept that I think just needed more time to it. Again, what we got is not bad. I like seeing Ulrich again as he kind of gets, seeing him kind of get glimpses of who he is and at the end of the day still be just as effective as he was before. It's just that it just needed more is all I'm saying. Although one of the things I actually do like is that Ulrich intentionally, is that when, when Ulrich does actually repeat that science lab thing rather than examining the, then rather than examining the gel that the nanobots are in, he instead just burns it. I like that, so... On the whole, it's another nice. It's otherwise, it's still a pretty nice episode. Again, it's another. It's more filler. Not much is revealed about or anything. There's not. There's nothing much else revealed in the episode. But again, interesting. I interesting. I it's interesting idea. I wish it could have been done better. But for what we got, it's still fine. I like seeing Ulrich as he's kind of wandering and slowly get, putting the pieces together about who he is. I like seeing him. I like seeing how, how he reacts when he goes on to Lyoko. How he, how everyone has to kind of acclimate to that. Overall. Still a decent episode. Could have done, could have done more, but for what we had, it was perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much it then. Thank you for watching. I'm Samuel Johnson. I'll see you next week. Take care.